Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about what to do when your iPhone won't erase. There are so many reasons that you want to erase all content and settings on an iPhone. Erase the data on the old iPhone to sell it, trade it in, or give it to your friends. Bring the device to its factory settings to fix the software problems. It's easy to do right on your iPhone. Go to Settings app, tap General, tap Reset iPhone. Tap reset all content and settings, and you're good to go. However, days will come when you can't erase iPhone. What causes this issue and how to fix erase all content and settings not working on iPhone? Keep watching, and this video will lead you to the answers. Why won't the iPhone let you erase all content and settings? The reason depends on different scenarios. Case 1. iPhone won't erase because it doesn't respond after you tap the erase all content and settings option. In this case, it could be due to unstable internet connection, iOS software errors, and malware. Case 2. The screen says Apple ID verification failed when you try to reset your iPhone. In this case, it could be due to entering a wrong Apple ID or password. Case 3. There was an error connecting to Apple ID server. In this case, iPhone won't erase all content and settings due to the enable find my option or not having a SIM card. How to fix iPhone erase all content and settings not working. Thankfully, you can get your device booting and running again on your own. So here's what you need to do when the iPhone will not go past the Apple logo. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step. Besides, if you have any questions, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Restart or force restart your iPhone. A simple restart is easy to try to fix an unexplained problem. To restart an iPhone 10, 11, or later iPhone models, press and hold the volume up or down button and the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. To turn your device back on, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. To restart an iPhone 8 or older iPhone models, press and hold the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. To turn your device back on, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. Now, go to the settings app again and see if it lets you permanently remove all of your content and settings from your iPhone. If not, do a forced restart. To force restart an iPhone 8 or later iPhone models, press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. To force restart an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, press and hold both the volume down button and side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. To force restart an iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. See if iPhone erase all content and settings not working issue is fixed. Connect your iPhone to a stable Wi-Fi network. Pressing the erase all content and settings but the iPhone is stuck and gives no response. Maybe there's no internet network or the signal is low. Make sure to connect your iPhone to a Wi-Fi network with strong signals. If you've already connected, then switch to another stable wireless network. Using cellular data is okay, but it's better for you to do a factory reset and wipe your iPhone through Wi-Fi. Check if a SIM card is inserted on your iPhone. See iPhone won't let you erase all content and settings due to the server error. Inspect the SIM card. If there is no SIM card on your iPhone, shut down your iPhone, add the SIM card, turn it on, and now see if you can erase or reset your iPhone. If you've inserted a SIM card, shut down your iPhone, take it off, wait a minute, put it back, turn the phone on, and now see if you fix the issue that iPhone won't erase content and settings. Download and install the latest iOS software. Open the Settings app. Tap on General. Choose Software Update. Your iPhone will start checking if there's an update available. If there is, it'll prompt you to download and install an update to upgrade the iOS system. Just press the download and install option. Finish the on-screen instructions to trigger the update process to start. Once done, inspect if the erase all content and settings option is working on the iPhone to reset. Toggle off find my option. There might be a risk of the conflict between the enabled find my option and the erase all content and settings option. It's not common but you can give it a try to toggle it off. Go to the Settings app. From the top of the Settings menu, tap your name. In the next page, select Find My Option. Tap on Find My iPhone Option. 
Then, move the slider to the left to disable it. Now, go back to the settings menu. Tap General. Tap Reset iPhone. Choose Erase All Content and Settings. And see if your iPhone starts erasing all data and restoring back to its factory settings. Erase iPhone using a PC or a Mac. If you make a few attempts but still can't erase your iPhone through the Settings app, consider finding other ways to do a reset. One is to connect your iPhone to a PC or a Mac. Then, open iTunes or Finder. Select your iPhone icon or name that shows up on the window. Click the Restore iPhone option in the Summary panel. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the reset process. If your iPhone is stuck and can't connect to iTunes or Finder in the normal way, keep your iPhone attached to the computer and put it into recovery mode first. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, iTunes or Finder will detect it and prompt you to update or restore your device. Choose the restore option to start erasing your iPhone to remove all content and settings. Once done, let your iPhone restart. Erase iPhone using iCloud. Another alternative to erase an iPhone through the settings app is using iCloud. Make sure you've enabled Find My option. Then, go to www.icloud.com and sign in with your Apple ID and password. Once logged in, click on the Find iPhone icon. Then, open the All Devices drop-down menu and select your iPhone that you can't erase. Now, select Erase iPhone. Choose Erase and then wait for the Erase process to finish. Hope now you successfully fixed the problem that your iPhone won't erase and the Erase All Content and Settings not working. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix an iPhone that won't erase all content and settings. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.